Hey. Did you know that pedestrians account for 17% of traffic deaths in the U.S.? I did not know that. What's it here in Korea? Uh, well, let me show you what it's like to cross the road first. Okay. What would you say the biggest differences are of crossing the road here in the U.S.? I think the biggest thing about just roads in general in Korea are, or is how many like instructions or signs or colors there are on the street itself. For example, you might see this, don't look at your phone as you're walking sign. Speaking of that, what are these yellow tiles I see on the ground here? These yellow tiles are a tactile pavement for blind people to navigate the streets of Seoul. So if you follow them, you'll see they go all the way to the subway station and then the road so people know where they are and if they're about to cross. What's the red lane on the crosswalk there? Oh, I don't know if you can zoom in, but that's the bike lane. So it's for all the bikers in Seoul to be able to have their own way. What about that red light I see on the ground over there? Come look at it. Well, it's red on both sides right now, but the red LED lights on the ground match the lights, the traffic lights. And so red obviously means stop, green means go. Um, and they're to help people know when to cross the street. What's that purple thing I see in the back over there? And that purple thing? Um, it's a closed up umbrella. So in the summer, they're open to provide shade for people that are waiting to cross. What's that little puppy I see? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small puppy. Usually they're in strollers, but I'm surprised to see one walking on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> What's the, what happens if you jaywalk here? Uh, jaywalking is illegal. If you cross when the lights already turn red, I'm pretty sure this fines Iman on. Let's go, let's go. Um, which is 20,000 Korean won. Maybe with today's exchange rate, it's about $15 or something. What are these arrows on the ground? The arrows are to tell people or to remind people to walk on the right side of whatever direction they're going. What's so, that tower in the background? That's Chamsu Tower, also known as Lotte Tower. It is the tallest tower in Korea. So I cut you off about the arrows. Oh, so Korea has something called Uchukboing, where people generally walk in the right side of whatever direction they're going. Not always, but usually. What about kids? Do they, are there any rules for kids? Uh, kids are taught to cross the street holding their arm up in the air to let drivers know that they are small people crossing the road. Oh, what's that button over there that we passed on the pole? Oh, this button, contrary to what you might think it is intuitively, is actually also for blind people. So if you press the button, it'll make an announcement letting them know what crosswalk they're at and when the light turns green. Is there anything else people should know about crossing the road in Korea? Um, I think that's it. I mean, if you're here, I guess, keep an eye out for the instructions or signs on the road, follow the crowds, and in general, just be careful. Pedestrians having right of way, I think is a fairly like recent thing here. So there are, sadly quite a lot of traffic accidents or people like don't wait <laughs> oh wait so what is the f fatality rate here in korea it's a little over double the u.s it's 34.9 percent wow anyways should we go get some coffees yeah <laughs>